that's good. It's the morning of all. This morning, I'm in Queen's Park. I'm gonna walk video to Queen's Park on Bridgestone. It's Queen's Park, Bridget and Bridgestone. And this is the South Gate, known as the Governor General's Gate. Looking towards Nursery Drive and the Constitution River and the Queen Elizabeth Hospital and Constitution Road. And here's a brief walk through history of Queen's Park. And this, and this is all Raymond Fair, Raymond Pasture, which is the transport board, the Barbados Transport Board bus depot, which is the old blue and yellow buses. You can see the ICPL as well. This is the new fountain I wanted to show you guys. There's the map of Barbados in it. So this is Queen Spa and Bridgestone, Barbados. This is supposed to be new water fountain with the map of Barbados, Barbados in it. It's supposed to be shaped in Barbados. It's supposed to be shaped like Barbados, sorry. Back to Hope Cinema and back to Robert Street. Again, this is the South Gate, known as the Governor General's Gate. The Blue Water Fountain that is built in the shape of Barbados. Most likely the name Queen Spark is going to change shortly because as I said we are a Republic nation now and we don't want anything to do with the Queen of England so we will be removing so we will be changing anything to do with England. This sign here says refurbished by National Conservation Commission tomorrow the 24th anniversary of Barbados since independence 1987. We open on Sunday, December 20th, 1987. Okay, so this fountain here, this fountain here was officially opened in November to commemorate the um, independent celebrations and the uh, turning of the public nation. So this fountain is in the shape of Barbados. Certain parts of the park are still carting off. So you can't go in certain parts. So Queen's Park is in the heart of Bridgestone, which is the capital of Barbados. Bridgestone is the main, the main city, the main town. Bridgestone got its name because of the Indian bridge that the Arabs built back in the 1600s. And this is the bandstand here. Royal Barbados Police Force Band players use it every Christmas morning when people come into the park dressed in their finest. Every year around every year on Christmas Day, the 25th of December, people come into there is always, always a um a program called Christmas in the Park where people can where people dress in their finest and come down to Queen's Park and show off their clothes and they always also have the Royal Barbados Police Force Band playing music and they play right here in this antenna here I mean in, in this esplanade here, this bandstand Let's go look 
can mark out the fountain. And looking back to the south gate, known as the Governor General's Gate. And you can see all across the Constitution Road. Constitution Road got its name because of the Constitution River that runs along by the um, hospital into Queen's Park, all across the Bridge Road. And it, it also was told that it runs into St. Joseph as well. You can see the Queen Elizabeth Hospital here. And this is Ministry Education at the DMLCPN Complex which was once the Queen's College Secondary School until 1989 when Queen's College moved from this location into Husband St. James which is to the western end of the island and then it later became the Ministry of Education and it also referred to the DMLCPN complex this is where our Prime Minister Mia Motley went to school received her secondary education at the Queen's College and also Dame Billy Miller who was also a member of parliament she also attended high school here at Queen's College when it was in this building here but it is now the Ministry of Education again the band stand with the Royal Barbados Police Force band plays music every Christmas day it can be referred to as the Esplanade looking back to Weymouth Pasture and the Keith and Clay Walk Up Pavilion as I said before, Barbados is now a republic nation since we removed the Queen as the head of state. So we are no longer under the Queen. As from the 30th of November this year, we, will now, we are now a republic nation. And Queen's Park is now refurbished. The band stand here. So this is the western end of Queen's Park, the western gate, looking to Constitution Road, where the Ministry of Education is, is the western side of Queen's Park. Here are the walkway is also lovely, lovely mural design on it. And this is the Queen's Park House. They will come across the Daphne Joseph Hackett Theatre. Gallery and this is the Dr. Packet Theatre here as well. Amphitheatre. The back of the bandstand and the south gate and the west gate, all where the Ministry of Education is. And this is the Queen's Park where the clock tower is. No approaching, no approaching the north gate. the Central Bank of Barbados as well. Central Bank of Barbados, this is the number of in the Northern Gate. And we can see the steel shed, known as the Queen's Park steel shed, where the steel band plays music every crop over, which is our carnival here in Barbados. We call it crop over. That's where the steel band plays, music plays. House. And you can see the first Baptist church here along Constitution Road, which is right next to the Ministry of Education.
This is the clean spot, the shed here. Mm. Looking about a Constitution Road. No portion of North Gate. North Gate now, known as the Nelson's Gate. This is the North Gate here, known as the Nelson's Gate, which will take you by the St. Michael's Road on the Central Bank and Church Village Green. And you can see St. Michael's Cathedral from here, which is the head Anglican Cathedral in Barbados. The head Anglican Church, St. Michael's Cathedral, and you can see the Central Bank of Barbados and the former Masonic Lodge, which is one of the exchange, a place of mystery and discovery. It is now owned by the Central Bank. You see the Central Bank Towers here, and we can see the Barbados Revenue Authority building. And we can see. And we can see Farmer for a Wire Garage, which is now number one jack beauty supplies. Thanks for watching and have a blessed morning.